It's not that cold, so that's why I had to turn on my AC <laughs> because it's too it's too cozy. <laughs> I know. Last week was uh, it was some areas was actually snowing, but then this it was week, uh, like a little bit uh, warm. Right? Yes. Yeah, cold. Well, thank you. I have cold. I have cold hands, but I have a warm heart. Wow. Oh, <laughs> you do. You do. Okay. Um, so, she's back. Hello. Hello. How are you? How's the weather, weather in Santa, Santa Clarita? Clarita. <laughs> it's a little cold. Especially in oh, the early in the morning. Yeah. Because here, if it's hot, it's really hot. Oh. And if it's cold, it's really very cold. You look young, Sister Beb. Uh, oh, thank you. I could not have my hair cut. I'm okay. I, li I like it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Sis Babot. And You're welcome. Nice to see you, Sis. Uh, sis Aryan, I like your sweater. Um, oh, hi, everyone. Your sweater. It looks Hello, nice. Sister Aryan. I got hi. this online. Uh, it's a yeah. sale. So it's a fall for Jesus. Wow, you so nice. Oh, I like that. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Wow, nice. Beautiful. Nice passage. And this where are Hi, you sister. right now? Oh, I'm from Diamond Bar. Yes. How about you? Um, you. Mm. So, uh, from San Diego, how's the weather there? Hello, everybody. Okay, the weather here today, it's it's not as, as hot as yesterday, 78 for this uh, month. Yeah, nice to see everybody and I'm excited for the blessing tonight. Thank you, Sis Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Next. Welcome everyone to Girls Night In. This is our episode three. Again, everyone, my name is Kelly and we have Sis Gail uh, also who's going to be hosting with us tonight. And we wanted to just show you our video real quick.
want to acknowledge our first timers. So um, can we show our hands like who are our first timers tonight? Let's see. Um, Sis Olive, have Sis Agnes, welcome. Welcome, welcome Sis Agnes. Thank you. And then Sis Paula. And I'm, then I have okay, um, Yungninia Edgar. Thank you. I'm not sure. And then Sis Elizabeth. Hi, welcome. Welcome, Sis Elizabeth. Okay. All right. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Um, and then also, thank you to all of you who has been here been since we started. And then now you are all back again. And um, of course, we want to thank you and welcome you back again. Uh, and I, I know really, that we can also like ask um, who here has attended all three. Oh, well, the first two sessions, like who has been present? Who are our regulars here? There you go. We have a lot. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. And then, of course, we want to acknowledge everybody who's here for, you know, from different places, different states. I know it's uh, 8 o'clock right now, but in some other places, it's a little bit later. But thank you so much. We have uh, from New Mexico, from, from San Diego, we have uh, maybe Canada too. And uh, of course, Las Vegas. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And it's going to be really, really fun today. So thank you. We wanted to call on Sis um, MM. If you, Sis M, are you here? Maybe you can tell us about the feast that's coming uh, Sunday, please. And invite everybody. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, my dear sister. Um, I'm inviting you to attend this coming Sunday for uh, the Talk 15 I Problem. It's going to be at 12.45 Pacific Standard Time. And um, hope to see you there because the Rancho Cucamonga um, Feast is celebrating our 10 years anniversary. So it would, it would be nice to see everyone there. And um, all of you. So just um, follow us on Facebook at the Feast Sacred Heart Rancho or YouTube at thefeast.us. See you there. God bless. Thank you, Sis M. Thank you. So excited. Happy 10th anniversary. And um, also, we have Sis Rain from the Awesome Kids Ministry who is going to be inviting. The awesome kids' parents for this Sunday. Go ahead, Sis Rain. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to invite, actually, um, invite your kids or your child, your children, to join on our awesome kids Zoom live. It's it's actually every other Sunday. The next one will be on November twenty nine. Um, it will be. Um, I think that that session will be we're we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving on that um, on that Sunday. So we, on behalf of the Awesome Kids Ministry, I think Sis MM is with us too. Sis Lala, Sis Joe, and and the rest of the Awesome Kids Ministry, we will um, we are inviting your kids. Um, our mission is to raise awesome kids to be disciples of Jesus and be be the light of the world. So. Yeah, it's going to be fun for the kids. I hope to see the, your kids there. Thank you, Sis Rain. Thank you for being a faithful servant. Thank you so much. Thank you for, so much for everything that you do for the kids, for sacrificing. So even though that you can't watch the feast with us, you're there to take care of the kids. And thank you so much. And we wanted to greet a happy birthday. Uh, we actually are... Uh, we have Sis Eileen Rada, who is actually celebrating her birthday today. Sis Eileen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hello. Happy Thank birthday. You. 
Thank you, thank you so much. Happy birthday. We're trying to log in so for the breakout, but we wanted to see you guys in the big screen. But thank you so much. We're, we're here, girls. <laughs> yeah, there are four, four, four women in here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks for celebrating. Thank you. With us. And all the members. Thank you, thank you for, yes. <laughs> Thank you for celebrating with us, Miss Aileen. I can't wait any longer. Let me introduce to you our worship leader. Uh, she was blind at birth and she has two kidney transplant. Um, but it was clear to her that she's born uh, with a purpose. She's a model of hope, joy, and faith in God. Uh, she inspires a lot of people through her appearances on radio, TV, and she is a recording artist, a radio show host, and motivational speaker. And she actually have a gift of healing. She received bar various awards, um, and but the most special award uh, that she received. Uh, it was the highest given award by the Philippine Catholic Mass Media last. November 15, 2013. It is the Pope John Paul um, Award. So please help me welcome Sis uh, Fatima Soriano. Sis Fatima, are you here? Hi, Sis. <laughs> Sis Fatima. Wow, thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. We are so excited. I was so excited. I when I saw you uh, last week singing to our, it was two weeks ago, when you sing at our Peace San Diego. And I remember all my memories when I was young. I was in the Philippines and I was watching you in the TV. <laughs> and I thought that, wow. But thank you so much. Um, go ahead, Cis. Um, thank you so much, Paul, Sister Kelly. Thank you. And good evening, Paul, once again, to all you dear sisters in Christ. Well, it's such a blessing and an honor to be sharing this evening with all of you. And I know this is, you know, all virtual, but even though we're not only states, but <laughs> we're, we're just apart, we're distance. I know that all our hearts are united in God, of course, and we thank him for that. And uh, as Sister Kelly said, Paul, you know, even though I was, you know, being born blind and having gone through uh, multiple kidney failures, um, I get, I often get asked by people, Fatima, where do you find God? You know, in, in a for a person who's been through a lot, uh, who's already blind, and then there there comes this kidney failure, how do you see God in your life? Because it seems so difficult, you know, from, from an outsider's perspective to see, you know, how does God love this person if she's going through so much? And some people think that because I'm blind, that all my life I've lived in the dark, you know, because I have no idea how the world around me looks like. It must have made you know, living my life very hard. But I don't think that's true. Honestly, for me, growing up up till now, God is everywhere. God is in my family, especially my parents and my sister who love me, uh, support me, teach me everything I need to know. God is in the people he sends, you know, to my life. And through everything that we went through, um, I feel God's love. The proof of his love is always there. He guides us, he protects us, and he never ever gives us anything that is less than the best for us. Less than what's good, less than what's perfect for our, you know, our current situation in our lives. And so the theme of this gathering right now is very, very beautiful. It's about gratefulness. You know, we are grateful to God, to the God who never leaves anything unfinished, unfulfilled, you know, to the God who always, always keeps all of his promises, you know, his, his ways may change, but he never goes back on any of his promises. And that's what we claim right now. That's what we hold on to, especially during these tough times, that if we hold on, never give up and wait on God, he will not fail us. He will not let us down. He will make good on every single word he promised us. And so before we begin with our worship, let us all pray and open our hearts to the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for your never-ending, unconditional love. We thank you for knowing us inside and out, knowing our hearts, knowing our thoughts, even our darkest ones, knowing our fears, knowing our dreams, and for loving us anyway, because and in spite of all the things that we are as human beings. Lord Jesus, teach us to hold on to your promises, to never leave us, never forsake us, and to see us through all the difficulties and challenges that we face. We thank you for holding on to us, even when sometimes we are so tempted because it is so easy to just let go and forget about your love for us. Lord Jesus, here we are. We open our hearts. We will listen to you, to your voice, to your word, to your will for each and every one of us, especially in the world that we live in now. So dark, so dreary, we need you. We love you. We have faith and we surrender everything to you. And with all of our hearts, we call on your most beautiful, wonderful, magnificent, and powerful name to save us, to hold us close to you, to redeem us. Death could not hold you
Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Tina. You're, you're a heaven sent. Your voice. Is I'm speechless, Sister Kelly, after that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sis. The moment that we yes. have been. I'm actually very <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's show this. Uh, let's watch this video real quick. to introduce to all of you uh, Sis Lelaine Lucas Gagna. She is actually, I just found out that Sis uh, Lelaine is a dentist. She's also a homeschool mom, uh, a content creator for Mom Me PH on FB. If you guys are seeing that on Facebook, she is also a blogger, a co-author of a marriage book keep the love alive and she is a co-founder of the woman worth uh, retreats and of course the leader of peace alabang of the light of jesus family so i want to welcome uh this lelaine gogna um, welcome, hello good evening sisters good evening. She's finally wow she is so I just wanted to share this with you, sis. Like, um, so like last month or two months ago, we were like trying to um, decide on who's gonna be the next um, speaker, and yeah. everyone was like requesting for you. So uh, yeah, we're so excited. I know that you are really busy. You have a lot, but I don't know how you do it. <laughs> but thank you so much for being here with us tonight, sis Lene. It is my joy, sisters. You know, when girls, when ladies, when sisters comes together, spectacular things happen, right? So, Amen. girls, Amen. Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh too. my so God. I think mm -hmm, you have a lot of things to that going to be sharing with all of us. Uh, I go wish, ahead. I, yeah, I wish to share my thoughts on this beautiful topic that you have tonight, sisters. And you know, it's 2020 and you choose this topic, you know, of all the times in history, <laughs> you North America sisters are saying, hey guys, I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to declare I'm thankful. I'm going to declare I'm blessed. And wow, get ready at what the Lord will do because that's what we're going to declare tonight. We're going to declare that, you know, people are saying there's so many celebrations that didn't happen for us this year, right? Did you have plans this year that were just canceled? And so many were saying, I won't celebrate my birthday. I won't celebrate this because this year doesn't count, right? But I think that we're all, as Fatima said, and we were brought to heaven by her, right, sisters? Super, super heavenly worship. And she said that um, we are united. I think that we're united in believing that God has plans and he knows what is best for us. And Here's what we're believing tonight. What we're in, what's important is not so much what was canceled or what was not what did not happen or how this year turned out to be, right? Like for instance, here, right where I am now, 
people are still cleaning up from the floods and their houses are still covered in mud. And, uh, you know, but what's important for us sisters who try to, let's try to have our hearts turned to the Lord is, what is God showing me? What is God showing us? How is he revealing himself to us throughout all this? And so I think that we're believing this very moment, you're seated there in your beautiful sweaters. <laughs> in choosing to be here, we're believing that, you know, God is not done. That's why we're here. That's why we have a beautiful morning to wake up to. Uh, this day that you have has just done and you're going to celebrate Thanksgiving in a, in a bit. You know, we're saying, we're declaring God has a, God is, you know, he's a, he has, he's an expert. He has a habit of outdoing himself always. Expert siya dyan, no? He's, he's, he, just, he just wants to get better and better at blessing us. And so that's what we're believing. And I'm going to share my slide just so that we can be guided in this, you know, in uh, this sharing that I'm going to keep because you're, we're declaring everybody as I do this. Let's, let's say this all together. We are thankful. We are grateful. We are blessed. You know, you can put it, put, right straight into your heart. You know, I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and I'm blessed. And you know what? God will outdo himself in making things go well for you. Receive that in your heart, sisters. Hindi magpapadaig si Lord. The Lord won't be undone. You know, if he has done great things in the past, he will surely do better in the future. In the future, in this day, tomorrow, you know, do dreams that will come true. I just want to assure you that better things are coming. Better things are coming. That's why we can declare that we are thankful, grateful, and blessed. If you, if you agree to this, say amen. Say amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. We believe this. We believe this, amen. right? Amen. amen. We're going to have some words from the Bible, and we start off with this very important one, give thanks. In all circumstances, St. Paul says, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Give thanks in all circumstances. I mean, there's no exception when you say all, right? All of it, everything that's happening. And I think we're being reminded tonight that, um, you know, our, our hearts have a default system. We have a default. What is our default? It's so easy. Like I'm talking for my personal experience. I don't want to come out here feeling I'm the I'm the goody goody girl who's who's always grateful all the time and I'm not impatient and I'm always wearing my halo because I am not. <laughs> we are all together in this sisters with my hormonal change and everything that's happening in <laughs> in my life, in homeschooling and Oh my goodness, we all need grace, right? We need grace. <laughs> and you know what? The default of our heart is we complain more than we give, more than we give thanks. We can complain, right? Like sometimes I was just sitting here and I was looking at my glasses and I was saying, oh my gosh, I think my eyes are getting blurry. I think I need to change. But I was just finding myself, watching myself, complaining about glasses that won't work. And then I just had to wipe it off and I realized it had smudges. <laughs> Madumi lang pala. <laughs> and I was already trying to complain. The problem is we complain more. We complain more. We, it's easier. You know, you have a cold, you complain. But thank God, it's just a cold and not a fever, right? And you have a fever, it's, it's still okay. Because it's not COVID. In this day and age, it's, it's good, right? Or if it's COVID, it's okay because you're not confined. If you're confined, okay pa rin, Lord, I'm still blessed because it's, I'm not in the ICU, <laughs> right? And if you're in the ICU, you're still blessed because you're not yet dead. Let's say you die, it's still okay, because you're still with the Lord. You're already with the Lord. So there's really no reason to complain, right? So this is our attempt, our challenge, our call to grow in giving, not in complaining. Let us mature in giving thanks. No? You know, the struggle, there are so many struggles around us. Um, overweight, you know, being, are you with me? Because me, I think I lost Wait in the first few months of quarantine, but we in Manila were already eight months in quarantine, and I think I've gained it all back. 
<laughs> so being overweight. But I think, I think, oh my gosh, I'm going to go back to my diet. I'm going to go back to exercising. But hey, I'm not going to complain because being overweight, sometimes I think about it. They say it's the end of times. It's going to be the end of the world. Let's say it and the world ends. Those who are sexy, they might already be struggling to survive. But we who are overweight... <laughs> We still have extras. We still have reserve, right? Pumapayat pa lang sila. No? Pumapayat pa lang tayo. Sila wala nang reserva. <laughs> so we have every reason to give thanks at any given time. Because yes, there could be so many problems that surround the sisters. But for every 99 problem, 99 problems are 99,000 blessings. Amen? So... Type it. We are blessed. I am blessed. I am thankful. I am grateful. That's what we choose to do. So that's the big thing for us, uh, to be just as thankful when things aren't going good. And Fatima was so eloquent, so on point when she said, I don't think that I am, I, I was, she said that I don't think that I'm any less blessed because God is everywhere and I feel the love around me. That's just so beautiful. She just says that she's blessed. Ganun pa rin, di ba? And um, the greater the gratitude in our hearts, the more we see God's blessings. I want you to see this video. Watch this, my dear sisters, to see what gratefulness is all about. Bye! Just keep on. Bye. 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 I have a present for you. No, but I can't. You know, stay, stay still, okay? Okay, this is for you, okay? <laughs> oh, open it, open it, open it. What is it? Open it! Open it! Open it! Open it! Open it! So this little boy <laughs> knows what it, what it means to be thankful, right? Uh, a simple banana, a simple fruit that you, that you actually just overlook many times, but it really makes his heart jump. You know, last Sunday, every Sunday we're in Mass, uh, we always answer the priest, remember, um, when he says, uh, let us lift up our hearts. And let us give thanks. And we always say, it is right and just. Diba? That's what we answer. It is right and just. And then the priest goes on to pray this beautiful prayer. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation to give you thanks. Did you ever stop to think about that, sisters? It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Grabe kaligtasan ko siya. It is my salvation. It is how I give in. It is in my giving thanks that I am saved. And so here we are. We are all together saying, yeah, let's be thankful. So I, or, I really honor you, sisters. I honor the organizers of Girls' Night In. I honor all of you who are choosing to be thankful even amidst these dark and seemingly hopeless times. Let us all teach the Lord to be more grateful tonight. Let us open our hearts to how he will mature us and let us grow. And because we're all sisters, I'm going to use this analogy, okay? May I use shoes. <laughs> One of our favorites. Although sabi nila, we don't really use the shoes now because we don't go out much. You know, we're still on lockdown here in the Philippines or in quarantine. But let's just suppose that to mature in giving thanks, let's use this analogy. The first ever shoes that we wear are, mm -hmm. of course, these shoes, baby shoes, soft, cuddly, glittery shoes. And you remember those shoes that you wear? And uh, this is the first type of giving for us, you know, when we wear soft shoes. When you're a baby, you are given all your needs, right? All your needs are provided for. And this is the first type of giving that we can equate to baby shoes. 
um, when you are thankful for provision, you are thankful for things that are given for you, the needs that are provided for you. We thank God for his provisions. God gives and we say, thank you, Lord. What are things that you're thankful for? May I ask you? What are the things that you're thankful for this, you know, Eileen, happy birthday. I'm sure you're thankful for another year. Eileen is a very dear friend. We go way back. Bata pa lang si Eileen. Pinapakinggan ko na siya. <laughs> I follow her already. She was silly. I'm just kidding. We grew up together in, the, in uh, serving the Lord here in the Archdiocese of Manila. And so we thank the Lord for provi provisions past provisions ahead. And let's read from the book of Deuteronomy, which speaks about how the Lord just provides lavishly. It says, the Lord your God is bringing you into a fertile land, a land that has rivers and springs and underground streams gushing out into the valleys and hills, a land that produces sweet and barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, and honeys. There you will never grow hungry and or ever be in need. Isn't that good? Just the picture of the Lord. Just at every turn, you will never ever be in need. That's what the, that's what the, the lowest, you know, the, the first level of giving, of giving thanks is. We thank the Lord for provision. And well, I want to introduce you to my family. This is, um, uh, I have lessons of gratitude every night, you know, my sisters, from these two human beings, my daughter and my son, Helene and Johan. You know, during our night prayers, it could take 10 minutes. It could take sometimes 15 minutes, but they would just run down their day, not growing tired of how the Lord, starting from the moment that they wake up in the morning, Lord, Thank you. My son would go. Thank you for eating lunch, dinner, and breakfast, for going out to play, for the lessons I learned. No, that's my son, 11-year-old. And this daughter of mine, she's going to be 13 in a um, couple of days. And she, in fact, has, you know, has grown to have this attitude of gratitude because yeah, apart from these night prayers that we have, every Sunday, we go. she goes live. She goes on a show on Facebook, a segment that we have on Mom Me. We have this on Facebook, Mommy PH. For those of you who are moms of daughters, please check it out, Mommy PH. And Helene, my daughter, just has a, you know, five to eight minute thing, video that she does that she, she just goes and says thank you for the the week's blessings the week's blessings and that is just you know I, I didn't know this we didn't teach them that they are the ones teaching us that and we just learned it um from this saint who says that when you have a an attitude a heart of gratitude you become more joyful and when you become more joyful it's easier to become a saint you know it's we didn't know that we were already uh to have two saints in the making because we just encourage our kids to go ahead and be thankful. Learn to open their eyes to the things that are being they are being blessed with. So that is what we have to do. We have to make it our mission, no sisters? Make it our mission. Hindi tayo papayag, no? Hindi tayo papayag that we don't find unique creative ways to be thankful in our lives. Let us make it our hearts cry to thank the Lord for his provision. Amen? Amen. The second type of thankfulness is when you graduate from baby shoes and you go to these kind of shoes. Yeah, teenager ka na. You become, you grow up a little bit and you're able to wear wedge shoes. No? From baby shoes, which we said we have you know, learn to thank the Lord for everything that comes, for every blessing, for every dream fulfilled, no? And we proceed to wedge shoes. And what is wedge shoes? When we know there's so much to be thankful for and we look around. Just proves that you have to open your eyes. Blessings that are around us. And when you wear wedge shoes, when our shoes are, you know, getting to be older you know when you get when we get older we are growing and maturing and also in giving thanks because we just don't 
thank the Lord for provisions, but we thank the Lord for this next letter P. We thank the Lord for His presence, how He is present in our life. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this beautiful psalm. I, I bet all of you know this. No? It's a favorite of ours. And it speaks about so much, about the, how the Lord is present. The Lord is my shepherd, David says. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. For you are with me. Lord, whatever happens, for you are with me. Whatever happens, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And your presence in my life, that is more than enough. Even if there is no more provision, even if I am waiting, for you are with me. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I will say thank you because God is with me. We thank God for his presence. We thank the Lord for simply being there. Basta nandyan ka lang, Lord. Have you ever considered this, sisters? You know, um, um, you know, one time I was just praying and it really struck me. You know, right down to my core. Lord, I found myself praying, Lord, why, why aren't you giving up on me? <laughs> but di ka nagsasawa. Bakit nandiyan ka pa rin? Why are you still in my life? Huh? Despite the things that you know about me, despite the things that, that are so, that are so, that di- despite my compromises, despite, what I am, what I've done, but you're still there. You never give up on me. That's the God that we have. And he's faithful to me. He's faithful to you. Very, very faithful. We thank God for his presence, his abiding love, never running out on us. Always making true of his promises, you know. And well, that's just what he is. If he turns his back away from us, he's not faithful anymore. He's not being true to what he is. That's what he is. Di kanya matiis. Di niya tayo matiis. He just can't let us go. He loves us so much. I have a friend who knows this so well. My goodness. Maybe you know her. She's Joy Cancho. Um, sex bomb. You know, the, her, she's a famous Vicor dancer. I don't know. You seem so young. Baka hindi niya siya inabutan. This is a young group. <laughs> but... Uh, she's been, she's a dear friend. We guested her just a few weeks ago in this show that we have, Arun and I, go on Quarry Start eh, on Facebook at 9 p.m. Manila time, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And she was just there sharing about her rock bottom, about how in 2014, she just, you know, she lost everything. She was a millionaire. She, there was this uh, show, Daisy Shete, and she was the one who was responsible for all the girls in the Sex Bomb Dancers being a sensational hit, noon time show for many, many years. But she lost all those. She turned her back from the Lord. And she knows this so well. The Lord never gave up on her. Um, she, 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 she found the Lord again in the feast, even if she was deep in debt, you know, she had to run and go in hiding from her debtors, but the Lord just never gave up on her. And she found herself in the feast, attending the woman of worth, one of the retreats that we give. And she found the Lord and now she's just screaming from the mountaintops. No, the Lord never let me go. If in the first stage, Moses in Deuteronomy taught us how to thank the Lord for the things we see, here in the psalm, David teaches us to thank and trust God for the things we do not see. Because it's true. All it takes is for God to give just a little bit of favor, just a little bit. And things can change dramatically in our lives. Konti lang, you know. Even thing, even if things are not going well for you, believe this, sisters. No, and we won't stop at just thanking the Lord for blessings and provisions. No, 
as Christ followers, we want our hearts right. You know, thanking God for blessings is good. It's a good place to start. But then when we thank God just for simply being there, we become real princesses, his real ladies, you know, who still choose to thank him for his mere presence. Let's thank the Lord for his presence, just being there. Amen? And this is the third level. The high heels level. Yeah. Do you love high heels? <laughs> Do you love the bling blings? <laughs> Masakit na sa pa ako yan, pero <laughs> this is where you stand tall. This is where what you wear when you stand in confidence. And this is when you become grown up and mature. And I love it when Paul speaks about it. And he speaks of it, speaks to the Philippians in the first chapter, right off the bat. After being shipwrecked, after being imprisoned, no? nakulong, iniwan, he, he was abandoned, and he was locked up in prison. And this is what he says. I want you to know, my friends. This is what he begins with, St. Paul. I want you to know, my friends, the things that have happened to me have really helped the progress of the gospel. Can you believe it? He, after all that has happened to him, he knows that everything that has happened is an ingredient, a stepping stone to his success. So that is the third ingredient for giving thanks. Purpose. When we don't, when we don't only thank the Lord for his provision or his provision or his presence, but we thank him for his purposes in our lives. Paul did not give say did not give did not say give thanks for all things. No. He said give thanks in all things in every circumstance. So we don't just say thank you Lord for sickness, for deaths, for heartbreaks. We don't praise God for the pain, but we praise God for what the pain is producing in our lives. May ginagawa siya. It has purpose. All of this, all of this has purpose. And you know, this pandemic has really taught us so many things, right? So many things that a pandemic can only teach us. Things that are essential. Things that we have been blessed, that, we, that still we have and still matter to us. Suffering teaches us that. It stretches us to give us thanks. High heels train us. It trains us that even when things are hard and not going the way we used to, we are still before a good God. We still have a God who has been good even through suffering. So all of this have purpose. And the question for us now is, what level where are we at at our thanks? No, it could combine sometimes, no, but our desire is, our call for us is we grow every day in seeing these things. No, Lord, thank you for the sun. Thank you for the air that I breathe. Thank you for the family that I hug, for the things that surround me. Thank you for the people that I'm blessed with. But Lord, thank you. And it requires some degree of maturity, my dear sisters to say thank you for the suffering. Thank you for the pain. Para yung bawang, you know. Um, we Filipinos, we love to saute things. No? Nagigisa tayo. And bawang, garlic, is so, you know, it's, it's not pleasant, you know, when we eat it alone by itself. But when you, it's an ingredient that gives flavor, so much flavor to food. But it is so necessary. You don't eat it all by itself, all alone. But it is necessary to bring out the flavor. If it would not serve God's purpose, my dear sisters, he would not put it in your pot. So what do we do? We trust the cook. <laughs> we trust the fashion designer. These shoes are made for something. We trust him because he, he works all together for the good. We know that. This is also St. Paul who says, all things work together for our good. 
for those who love us, for those who love God, and those of us who are called to His purposes. So, what are you experiencing right now? I don't know what you're going through. You may not understand it. You may not understand all the struggles, maybe all the things that are continuing to bat to batter you or to make you fear or worried or distraught or disheartened. But we stand. We stand and we continue to rejoice. Um, that is what we choose. <laughs> that is your battle cry for tonight, dear sisters. We are thankful. We are grateful. We are blessed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Shall I? I let me, yeah, go ahead. Shall I show the reflection questions or? Yeah. So actually, uh, before we show the reflection questions, is um, uh, maybe we there's uh, we can check. Maybe someone wants to ask a question. Yes. If someone has a question regarding this beautiful sure. message. Sure. So while we're uh, waiting for uh, one of the participants to ask a question, uh, sis, wow, I got a lot of notes. Uh, thank you so much. I love what you, I like the, of course, the heels, the high heels, stand tall in confidence, of course. And then, you know, the, what you said about praise God for what the pain producing, you know, especially like the pandemic is mm -hmm. teaching us. And because actually of the pandemic, that's why we have the GNI right now. Because I know. it has done so many beautiful things, but it's not to disregard all the sadness and all the you know all the lives that have been disturbed and even taken. But who would have thought about this, right? That we will be connected in these ways, no? If yeah, not for it. this, well, yeah. Oh, well, we have you here. We don't have to fly to the Philippines, but we would love to. But yeah, well, like even the feast at home too, because like uh, just on personal stories, I didn't, I don't really know how to like edit the videos and do all of the slides and all of that. But because of pandemic, I was able to learn all of that. So praise God for it. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Praise God. And, and Gail? Yeah. So for me, one thing that struck me, I mean, because sometimes it's easy, you know, to praise God um, every time you receive blessings, like even as simple as, you know, getting water, water when you're very thirsty. Like it's easy to blurt out, well, thank you, Lord, for this. But it's such a struggle if you're going through something and you just don't understand what's happening around you. And it, it really, and sis, I agree, like, you know, it takes maturity. It takes a lot, you know, it takes a lot of faith in God to still be grateful and know that there is something beautiful behind that struggle. Like all you need to do is just focus on him and, you know, wait for that miracle that will be brought to you by that suffering. Because there's always a lesson, you know, that, that comes with it. And there's, all, there's always a blessing. And like we have to be, um, that we have to be that testimony you know, from, from our suffering, something fruitful and beautiful has to come from that. And it has to s serve other people as well. So that is my reflection um, from, you know, what you have from your message tonight, sis. And thank you for that. Um, so sisters, do we have any question for Sis Lelaine? Reflection? I have a question. Yes, sis. Your question. Hi, Sis Lillian. Um, I have, a, I have a question. Um, you know, sometimes, not sometimes, more often than not, the, the reality does not much match God's promises, right? And it's so hard to be grateful. How would you, uh, what can you say or suggest to a person who is, who's first time, who is first time hearing this message, like, be grateful? Like, how do you? say thank you despite and in spite of like, yeah. like especially of the person to the person who is baby in, in, in faith in spirit you know like person is unchurched you know 
Yeah, that's a great question, Juana. Um, you know, what's important really is, and we learned this from the feast from way back, right? What we focus on really grows. You know, what we focus on grows. There's a story of this uh, man who had two dogs. And these dogs, a white dog and a black dog, who would bring it to, uh, you know, a fair. There was medieval times when these dogs would have, would be on a battlefield, no? Pinaglalaban yung mga aso. And they would have a, a match between the white and the black dog. And people would bet, no? On either dog. The white will win now or the black would win now. And that owner, that dog owner, the man who always bring those, brings those dogs, would always bet on this dog. And that dog, which he bets on, would always win. He would win. He would this this week, this Sunday, he would bet on the black dog. That black dog wins. This Sunday, he would bet on the white one. And guess what? That white one wins. And suddenly, out of curiosity, as it was, you know, going every week, week in and week out, he was just getting all the money, all the winnings. A little boy went up to him and said, um, "Sir, Mister." May I ask what your secret is? Why do you know which dog would always win? And the man said, because I feed it. Because I feed it. Do you get it, sisters? So the dog who always wins is the one he always feeds. That one, uh, whatever we focus on grows. Whatever thoughts we have, that's the one we feed. And that's the one. If your your question, Juana was Juana was um, if you're a baby Christian, I believe that um, that's a good place to start. You know, uh, you see this, and your thoughts, your mind, whatever is good, whatever is pure, whatever is noble, whatever is noble, whatever is good and true, that's what you focus on, and you be thankful. You know, and you find yourself, you find yourself. Wow, I last time I just. Last time, I just saw the car that I was driving. But eventually, my goodness, I thank the Lord for the car and the gasoline on the car and the fuel on the car and the wheels that are not broken that makes, that makes the car run and the steering wheel that is sturdy and, ha- and brakes that work. You get me? Because then it, then it grows us. Then it makes us, makes us more keen to be thankful. <laughs> of the little thank you, Sis Lale. I guess you should be intentional and deliberate about it. Yeah. Thank you, Sis Lale. You're welcome. <laughs> thank, you, sis. thank you, Sis Juana, for that question and Sis Belaine for answering. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I just remember about you were thinking about the car, the gas, and everything. <laughs> Actually, it was last week we went to Monterey, California. And I was with the family. We're on our way on our vacation. And then the engine of our car, it just turned off. So it was a good thing that uh, our brakes were still working. So we were able to pull over safe. Um, So we're just grateful that uh, God uh, protect us and we're safe and we were able to Uh, go on our trip so I just wanted to share but thank you for sharing that story about the dog this is Lorraine I love stories it's easier for me to uh, understand so thank you but so before we go to your uh, questions is Lorraine we can we call everybody to turn on their uh, video so we can take a picture real quick before we start on our breakout rooms so yeah, so Sister Bebot. Hi, <laughs> everybody. All right, so everybody there's going to be the camera. Yeah, okay, so the first one, smile, everyone. One, two, three. Okay, the next one. One, two, three. Okay, and then the last one. One, two, Three. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, Sis Lelaine, um, can you show us your, tell us about your questions, the reflection questions, please? Yes. You may choose. You may choose from these questions. Um, yeah. Um, what level is my gratitude in life? 
Or you can say, what shoes am I wearing? <laughs> you, can, you can answer that. You can choose any of these. Okay, sisters. Next, how can I mature in my giving? Give thanks. And number three, it would also be good if it's a point for reflection for you, for all of us, if we could see what fruit, what is the fruit of your gratitude? Like out of the gratefulness of my heart, what, what comes out of it? Okay, so that's the third question you can choose from. Yes. Yeah. So for those of you who are new, who just joined us today, so we're going to be on our breakout room. It's going to be three people in the room and we have, we increase the, the time, right? Minutes. Because everyone was saying, oh, it's too short. It's bitten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so each person make... now will, yeah, we'll have four minutes. Yeah. So, so now it's 12 minutes in total. So we have four minutes for each of you to share. So enjoy everyone. We'll see you in 12 okay. minutes. So how was 12 minutes? Wow. Bitin pa rin. Bitin pa rin. <laughs> it's always it always feels short whenever you're enjoying, right? <laughs> really good um, topic. And thank you so much, uh Sis Lalane, for the questions. It's Really good, really good um, question. So, uh, Sis Gail, we're going to be... Thank you, Sis Lelaine, for the questions. So good. I enjoyed... Uh, you enjoyed. It's really nice to share. Yeah. Uh, Did anybody so cry? Yes. I still Aw. Big hug, Sis. Yeah. Yes. And then, so... Wow. Okay. So now I think let's, um, we have some prices, Sis Gail. Yes. And, yes. I'm excited for this one. And so can we share, Sis? So here we have some prices for our very best uh, girls who attended tonight. And this is actually personalized and specially made by uh, Sis Jeanette. Sis Jeanette, can you say hi? Just say hi. Hello. There is Sis Jeanette. She's a beautiful designer. Of from, thank you. She's Panorama and she all she's also our from our media ministry. And so can we call on uh Sis Cece to award the first um lucky blessed girl for tonight? Sis Cece, are you yes. here? Yes, is hello, hello. hello yes. Wow. Wait, um, our first prize will be um the early bird. So definitely the early bird gets the worm. Or uh, well, in this case, the early bird gets a prize. And that uh wonderful sister is Lulu Serrano. Yay! <laughs> Sis Lulu. Congratulations. Congrats. Oh, Sis Lulu, you're on mute. Please unmute yourself. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah, hi. I love that. I love the t-shirt. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah uh, now we can I, I hear you. were asking me what time I logged in. I think that was yeah. about yeah, that was about quarter to eight or something. Yeah. We just wow. had our dinner. Yeah. <coughs> oh, early. Thank you, Sis Lulu. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, we'll we'll contact you. We'll need your address where to send the uh, the price. Okay, right. I'll wait for that. Thank you, Sis Congrats. <laughs> and then now, can we call on Sis Irene? I'm here. Okay, go ahead, Sis. So are they going to type in the answer? Yeah, the person who typed? Let's, do, let's do the chat. Uh, the chat is, uh, yeah, Sis Juanita, uh, Sis Juana. Okay, girls, this is a yes. very tough question. Make sure you nice t shirt so you better, uh, better answer it right. Who is the husband of Sis Lalane? Oh, okay, so hard. 
Oh. And the winner is this pa- this Paula. Paula, I think. Yes, it's Paula. She's the first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Paula. Say hi. Can we see? What did this Aryan said done? <laughs> it's Paula. Say something. Say hi. Oh, congratulations, Miss Paula. Paula. Hi. Good job. Congratulations, Paula. You have your lucky charm, Emery. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Sis Irene, and congratulations, uh, Sis Paula. And then may we call on Sis Jean for our, who's going to be um, showing us our third prize <laughs> for our third prize. Go ahead, Sis. All right. So, is it on? Is it yeah, there? That one, yeah. The gratitude challenge. <clears throat> there we go. So, a while ago, um, Sis Lale, my main takeaway um, from her talk was um, you find unique ways or creative ways to be thankful or to be grateful, right? So, here is a chance. And all women, we women loves the challenge, right? So this is a perfect um, perfect time for us to have a challenge because it's Thanksgiving. It's a gratitude challenge. And we have the third prize, the third t-shirt for you to be able to get that is first. You will have to join our official Girls Night in Facebook. So you just, it's, there's a link in the um, screen on the screen rather but you can also type it in your search box or search button in your facebook and search for the fees dash girls night in you can take a photo right now but you can also um search it number two you should also like our light of jesus family there's light of jesus family dash us page and invite five of your friends to like our page. Okay, <laughs> the manier the better, you know, let's spread positivity and let's spread gratefulness in times, and especially this time. And now third step is you should post your, an entry of um, a photo of what you are grateful for, be it, are you grateful for your husband? Are you grateful for your family? Are you grateful for your job? Anything like what Sis Lalaine said, we should um, be able to find ways or unique ways to be grateful for. And in the description of your uh, photo, you say you describe why you are grateful for it. Okay. And lastly, this is very important. You for us to be able to um, look at your photo and for us to be able to be blessed with your gratitude challenge photo or post. We would like you to use the official hashtag of this challenge, which is hashtag GNI gratitude challenge. Okay, that would be it. That was a mouthful, mouthful, but don't worry about it. Once you're going to like or join our um, Feast Girls Night in Facebook group, I think you would, um, we would review our way. We're going to send you this guideline again. Okay, that's it. Awesome, thank you. Thank you, Sis Juana, for that. I'm definitely joining this challenge. Yeah, so. we will be waiting for your <laughs> posts and we are looking forward to actually read them. Uh, our next, uh, Sis Gail, will be sharing you something special uh, that we're going to be sharing with all of you. <laughs> Go ahead, Sis Gail. Yeah. So as you know, sisters, um, we are celebrating our Thanksgiving, and then it's going to be followed by the holidays. So um, the GNI um, committee, um, and we all know what happened also in the Philippines, uh, the typhoon Ulysses. Um, if you're, if you've been, um, if you have friends from Manila, I'm pretty sure that you, you're seeing a lot of these images in your feed. And you know, we just want to get together as sisters and you know, support and offer whatever we can um, to help the victims, uh, to, to help the typhoon victims in the Philippines. So 
um, what we're going to do is um, any amount um, we initially thought of, you know, okay, what, what is the best way to support them? Since this is going to be overseas, we thought that it would be more practical and actually easier to send money to the Philippines um, through our um, LOJ, um, Light of Jesus um, Venmo account. So we will be uh, providing the QR code for our Venmo account. But for those who have not set up their Venmo accounts yet, um, we can um, send, we can provide instructions as to where you can send um, the check. So any amount will help. Uh, we will be grateful. And then we will be supporting, um, we will be turning over those donations to um, the Light of Jesus community in the Philippines. So yes, um, so some simple instructions um, for that. Um, so we, because of, you know, we wanted to send help right away. So our deadline will be uh, Thursday, November 26, which is actually the day of Thanksgiving. Um, and then when you send your money to our Venmo account, um, can you please, um, put the hashtag uh, GNI gives PH so that we can actually identify that that particular donation is actually for the typhoon <clears throat> victims. Yes, sis. So also the, the checks, the personal checks are also accepted. Uh, right now, uh, unfortunately, we don't have cell account for this, but um, you can send your personal check to, we're gonna be sending you an email uh, tomorrow and we'll add the information there, the address to where you can send your uh, check. Yeah, Sis Gail, are you there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Sis Gail, uh, yeah, they were asking about Zelle uh, because right now we don't have Zelle, we only have Venmo. Uh, but it's, we have actually the instruction here on the next slide. Uh, we have a QR code and there's instruction on how to sign up on Venmo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, this scale. So yeah, um, so we have, an, we have instructions um, how to sign up for Venmo, but at the same time, yes, um, if it would be easier to actually um, use your checks um, and then we can just send you the address, uh, the mailing address of our registered um, Light of Jesus account. Sister Gail, is that through Sister Merle? Yes, sis. It is the same um, LOJ account. That's, that's why we really need uh, to put that unique identifier, the hashtag GNI, yeah, gives PH. Okay. Questions. So thank you, sis. Uh, for those of you who weren't able to get the QR code, uh, don't worry. We're gonna be uh, sending you via email the QR code where you can uh, send us through Venmo and then also uh, the address where to send your personal checks. Uh, and then also the instruction on how to download uh, the the Venmo. So it's really easy and it's uh, safe. I've been using that for a long time. Yeah. Thank you everybody for uh, your generosity and yeah, for helping out our, our family in the Philippines. Our brothers yes. and sisters in need. Yes, and then so now we have a special, another uh, special sister that's celebrating, gonna be on the 20 yet. Let us sing happy birthday to sis. Yeah, unmute yourself. Sis, happy birthday to sis Bebo. Oh, happy, sis birthday, Bebo. Sis happy birthday, sis Bebo. Happy birthday to Bebo. Happy birthday to Bebo. Happy birthday, sis Bebo. Happy birthday, Sister Bebo. Happy birthday, Sister Bebo. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Sister Bebo. 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 Happy birthday, Sister
Thank you. Happy birthday po. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any message is Debot for everybody? Hey, <laughs> ah. uh, it's because my children, my grandchildren are not here. So okay. but uh in spite of the loneliness, I long for them to be beside me. But um because of your presence, all of you sisters. Thank you for, you made my day for this beautiful day. Thank you for your greeting, for your love. Nakakaalis kaya ng lungkot. Thank you very much. Sister Bebot, you are our sunshine here. <laughs> we honor you, sis. Happy Thank birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Sister Bebot. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Thank you. Sister Bebot, for all your sacrifices. I know yes. that you know, you're here with us and your family is back in the Philippines. Uh, I know how hard it is, but... Thank you so much for your love and for taking care of our LOJ here in the States. Thank you very much. Because uh, we are uh, your brother Pio and I love all of you. Thank you. And thank you for the support. And we love you too, brother. Sister Bebo. Thank you. Mami, 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 Beauty pa rin, Sister Bebo. <laughs> I've known you for almost 30 years. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sis. And then uh, before we wrap up, can we call on sis Lelaine? Sis Lelaine, if you have a uh, last word for us and yeah. before you pray for my us. Last, my last sis. word is a question for Sister Bebot. <laughs> <laughs> What is the fountain? The secret? Where did you find the fountain of fountain youth? Of youth? <laughs> yes. Good question, sis. How ageless you are. Is it Brother Pio? Diba? Ito na. 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 Hi, Lori. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, oh, I miss you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. They were, you did not hear all the sisters were saying thank you for all the sacrifices that you are doing for your oh yeah 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 for the lord for the lord <laughs> yeah people <laughs> yeah, be, 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 <laughs> okay uh, lelaine lelaine ropey thank you so much for uh making our sisters here so happy uh, we appreciate your wonderful job, and uh, uh, we pray that God will use you even more to bless more women for the Lord. Amen. Lord. We were all blessed tonight, very much blessed. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Let's Thanks, come, Peter. sisters. Let's come to pray. I think it's time for us to just bring our hearts together. Our hearts have been filled by His love. Amen. 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 Yeah. The Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's worship the Lord in our own words, brothers. My dear sisters, let's just honor Him. Let's say our love, our love message to the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we lift up to you. Praise you, Father. Lord, Lord, I magnify your name. Yes, Lord Jesus. You are our Lord, our God. We love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you for your all the blessings you have given us. Thank you for all the protection. Thank you for all the blessings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
Lord, and thank you, Lord, Lord, for the blessing, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the great vision, for the Lord, and honor, thank you, Lord, for the highest, blessing, Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and glorify your most holy name, O God, thank you, Lord, for the Lord, and we are blessed, Lord, only because you love us, our life, Lord, thank you, Lord, in our lives, Lord God, be blessed, be praised, be magnified, be glorified, be lifted up, be extolled. Yes, Lord. Be known, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that you have gathered sisters around this table tonight, Lord God, for everything that you have inspired us with, everything that you have taught us, you have instructed us. Thank you, Lord, for the way that you have embraced us, for the way that you have called us to even be more thankful, Lord God, to mature in our walk, in our faith walk, in our following you, in our growing to love you, Lord God, and to be thankful for all that you are. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be with you tonight. It is your presence that strengthens us, that yes. calms us, yes. that gives us peace. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for your word, for friends, Lord God, that have li who have listened to us. Thank you for the many reasons that we can say thank you, that we celebrate Lord, your love and your provision in our lives. Lord, thank you for Girls' Night In. I pray for a special blessing for all my sisters in this part of the world, Lord God, that you continue, Lord God, to answer their prayers, that could you continue to instruct them and call them closer and closer to yourself. That's all that matters, Lord. In our lives, Lord God, everything else can go away, but you... Lord God, you are the constant in our lives, the one that we turn to, our source, the one that we adore, the one that we rely on, the one that we depend Amen. on. So, Lord God, tonight you have shown us again that you have never, ever left us and that you never, ever will. Yes, Lord. That your love is true and faithful and that we can always hold on to you, Lord God. I pray for those who are going through something, whatever struggle. Whatever difficulty, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I claim your victory in this situation, Lord God. I claim that they, these sisters of mine, will pass through the dark valley and they will fear no evil because you are with them, with your rod to strengthen them. You are at their side. So, Lord, go before us. Go beside us. Go behind us. Hem us in, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Forever, forever, Lord God, we rely on you. We run to your embrace, Lord God. And that is who we are. We are your daughters. Yes, Lord. We are your daughters. Never let us forget, Lord God, that you are our God, Father, loving, constant, true. You will never let us go. Instead, you pursue us, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Our gratitude is so little compared to what you give. But allow us, Lord, humbly to thank you right now. And to say we hope in you. We look forward to a life being lived each day, each moment with you. Thank you for your presence. Yes, Lord God. Bless you. us all, Lord God. Bless our families. Keep protecting us and keep us strong in our faith so that many more will be served. Many more sisters will be brought to know your love and your embrace. Lord, God, bless the feasts, all the sisters representing feasts in this, in this Zoom meeting, Lord God. Bless all their heart's desires. Bless the birthday celebrants in November. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Lord God. Bless our husbands. Yes. <laughs> Keep them strong. Yes. Shining your light, Lord God. We are your daughters. In Jesus' name, we love you. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
special, 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 special night. I don't want this night to end. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, before we leave, um, that I want to give thanks to the GNI team, to the organizer of this event. Uh, we have uh, Say Hi, uh, Sis Gail, of course, who is co-hosting with me. And then we have Sis Claire. Say hi, Sis Claire, who's taking care of our video uh, tonight. And then say hi, Sis Claire. And then, of hola. Course, hola. There you go. We have Sis Jean. Hello. Hi, Sis Jean. <laughs> Sis Joanna. Thank Sis you. Joanna. Hello. Yeah, thank you, Sis Joanna. Sis Irene. Sis Irene. Hi. Hello, everybody. There you go. Sis Sis. Hello. Hi. Hi. And of course, Sis Nori. Hi. Hello. Hi, Sis Nori. And then we have Sis Marian. It's, it's her birthday today, too. Hello. And then we have Sis Jeanette, who's helping us with the video. Jeanette, say hi. Hello. And then, of course, we have uh, Sis Juanita. Say hi, Sis Juanita. Hello. 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 <laughs> thank you so much thank you um i cannot we cannot do this alone um it has to uh be a team to to take care of all of this but i'm really grateful to all of you i appreciate um all your time your effort your uh treasure and your gift uh thank you so much for making this happen thank you miss um, kelly for your leadership so happy thanksgiving everybody thank you for joining us thank you thanksgiving thank you everyone Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Happy birthday, Sis Bebo! Thank you, thank you! Happy birthday, Sis Happy birthday, Thank you so much! Bye-bye! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy holidays! Thank you! 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 Thank you!